Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to clean your dishwasher and make it run a lot more efficiently. Um, mine happens to be a GE profile. Um, and right now on the normal setting it runs at 52 minutes. Um, but it adjusts itself when you actually hit the start button. Um, it used to, when you close the door, say like 60, I think, or 62, I forget, but I've knocked off a good amount of time by just keeping it clean because it helps keep the sensors clean. So I took the rack out of the bottom already. So what you want to do, and this kind of goes for a lot of machines, is take out the bottom spray arm and they're usually just kind of clipped in if you rotate it and pull up hold on I gotta get a better angle here you'll feel it kind of release and it's just clipped in by these four little tabs right there so you're gonna want to take this and look at all the little holes coming out to make sure that there's no clogs or anything in there and shake it to see if you hear anything um, and check the uh, mine has them on the underside and what you're gonna want to do is if you see stuff is try and flush water through this hole here and you know you might want to back flush by running water through each one of these until you see it coming clean um, when I decided to do this to mine, uh, it had a fair amount of stuff in it. And then on my particular model, there's this little cap here, you just turn, like it was like a quarter of a turn, and that releases this little filter assembly here. Um, and you're going to want to go through and on this particular one, if you start here, flush the water out through this like little screen and it will drain out this little tab here. So you're going to kind of want to flush that until you see this area is pretty clean. Um, you can see I've got some build up there, so I need to uh, go ahead and wipe mine out. And then... On the top arm here, what you do on this particular one is just unscrew this. This will just drop down, and you're gonna want to do the same thing to this middle arm as you did to the bottom one. Now you can kind of you're going to want to make sure, if you're not good at remembering things, that you take a video of yourself doing this. That way you put everything back together the proper way. Um, but for this model, um, this side should spray up towards the glasses and not down. Some people might get confused with that, but this is the proper way. So like I said, it helps to make a video of yourself doing this so you don't mess up when you put it back together and make sure you don't lose the little retaining screw so you're going to want to clean out anything around this area too that will um, they tend to build up a lot of debris and on this model you can, if you pull up on this tab right here, you can remove, you can slide this neck off, um, which will allow you access to under here. Um, I'm not going to do it right now, but because I've done it recently, but it's fairly simple to just pry this off such and 
it allows you to um, really clean in this area here. I, I might, when I've started, I might as well finish it. So you just kind of unscrew this. a little um, metal washer that goes in the bottom so you're obviously not going to want to lose any parts of the big thing here and then you can pop off this screen back here and you can see there's some debris in there and you're just going to want to clean all of this up um, and I recommend just vinegar and a towel is usually a great thing. And once you've done this and put everything back together as you took it apart, what you're going to want to do is take a empty glass. Um, I just didn't take this out, but like a coffee size mug or even a measuring cup and put it right side up like that in your machine full of vinegar and then you can even sprinkle baking soda on the bottom and run it on a normal cycle um, that's what I've heard for that method now if you don't want to do that what I also do is I go and buy dishwasher cleaner um, I use the finish brand and uh, you run it on the hottest setting you possibly can. Um, the instructions are really easy on the bottle. You just tip it upside down in the bottom rack, which I removed for this video, and set it, like I said, to the hottest cycle and let it go. And that really helps it clean everything. And you want to do both of these cleaning cycles with an empty dishwasher. Um, and if you do that and clean all these parts, you should notice a drastic drop in the time it takes to run your dishwasher cycle. So um, let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, like I said, this is just for a GE, but most dishwashers are very similar. Um, my mom has a Miwa, and hers is much the same as this. They just come apart in the same fashion. So um, the important things, if you you need to make sure that you put everything back the way it came out. And like I said, if you're not good about that, then make sure you take a video of yourself doing it. That way you can go back and reference something. So um, like I said, if you just give everything a good cleaning in here and then run it empty, with the vinegar or with a specified dishwasher cleaner, uh, you should notice your, your machine taking less time and everything coming out a lot cleaner. And I've noticed that. And your dishwasher just looks better in general. And in theory, it should uh, last longer when you do this. So let me know what you think. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day.